soldiers like Master Corporal Colin Fitzgerald, a man decorated for his incredible courage under fire, are returning home only to have to keep fighting, this time with the Conservative government. No. He was medically released with severe PTSD, yet when he applied to Veterans Affairs for benefits he'd earned, fact, re back re-diagnosed him with simple anxiety, denying him help he needed. This is unacceptable, to be told one thing by national defense doctors for release and the opposite by Veterans Affairs and denied. When will the minister compel VAC to accept national defense doctors' diagnosis? The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for that question. As he knows, we are closing the scene with the Canadian Armed Forces to make sure that Veterans Affairs is involved quicker with an injured or ill veteran, Mr. Speaker. We do accept the uh, medical evaluations of the Canadian Armed Forces, Mr. Speaker. And more importantly, we're reducing the stigma, asking men or women to come, soon, come forward sooner to get the treatment they need, Mr. Speaker. By the end of this year, we will have opened up 26 operational stress injury clinics. Just a couple opened under that government, Mr. Speaker. This is a priority for us, Mr. Speaker.